next topic is about the functional groups and uh, are you aware of the priority of functional groups yeah okay so shall i start with few examples first few questions yeah. directly okay and if i feel that you you are facing some difficulty then i will explain the priority of these functions as well okay okay so basically you should know how to identify these function groups then only you will be able to correctly name the compounds so let's start that Uh, yes, let me know once you are done with all of these six. Okay, so tell me the first one. One uh, hydroxy pentoone. Okay, second one. Uh, cyclo hex, cyclo uh, cyclo hex uh, hexanone. Yeah, hexanone. Third one. It's also called uh, benzoquinone, right? Yes. No. That is not benzene ring. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, third is two chloro uh, hexanone. Two chloro. Two chloro then. Hexanone. Hexanone. Oh, oh hex cyclohexanone. Sorry. It should be like cyclohexa one own or just cyclohexanone? Cyclohexanone. It's just like you we have already seen, right? When there is okay. a double bond inside the ring, and that is a single double bond. I mean, that is a single multiple bond, <coughs> or that is the only one uh, multiple bond. In that case, that will have the position one always. So you don't need to mention the position of the double bond. And similarly here. This is the only functional group. Yeah. So, and functional group will be always only one. Others will be the substituents. So in that case, you won't have to mention the position. Fourth one. Okay. Uh, one hydroxy three methyl pentanone. Uh, 
penta to own no pen to own sorry not pen okay, to pen both in first and in fourth i think you missed this is this oh, an essay yeah this is All an right. essay so both this so is it an essay really because shouldn't there be a c there where oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. there is a c here yeah, only there right yeah i forgot about it so Sorry. now you have to count carbon from here one yeah yeah one two three four three yeah butanol uh, butanol sorry butanoic acid butanoic acid uh, this is butan one oh, wait butanoic acid ah uh, yeah, i forgot it completely so similarly I, here uh, one two three four yeah. so this is position two now three tell me no two methyl two methyl butanoic acid right again if there is a oic acid that carbon will be always number one carbon so that's why we yes. don't write butane one oic acid yeah okay uh next one fifth one uh n ethyl ethanamine no wait 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 one second one second sorry c C C C. One second. I don't know this. Okay, this is a five carbon chain in which NH yeah. two is attached like this. So where is it attached? It is a, attached at Third position carbon. three. So this is pentane three. Amine. Oh, that's it. Okay. This is a primary amine. That's why. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. If you have secondary or tertiary, then it becomes N, right? Yes. We will see that. Uh, okay. Next one. Sixth one. Sixth one. It's amide. So. Yes, it is an amide. So, one. One second. One second. Yes. Yeah. Uh, four methyl. No. One, one, two, three. Yeah. Four methyl. Uh, uh, hex three N. Amine. Correct. Okay, so as we have seen this particular exam set of examples, knowing or identifying the um, functional group is very important. As you can see here, uh, you have made mistake in one and four, and then fifth, I guess now you. Are aware of that basic yeah, yeah. one degree am I how to name it? So the functional groups which we will see right, there will be two types of functional group. Okay, they will be terminating. That means chain terminating. That means wherever that group is, the chain the chain will terminate at that group. Right, yeah. and the examples of those terminating groups are acid, carboxylic acid, alcohol. Alcohol, no, alcohol can be in the anywhere in the chain. Oh yeah. I'll I'll explain that. Ah, uh, CHO, aldehyde. Correct, acid halide, nitrile. What about aldehyde? I'll show that amide. And aldehyde. So these are the groups. If they are anywhere in the compound, then or in the molecule, then beyond that, 
there is no extension right there the chain yeah. terminates and if you see non terminating alcohol ether yes so there are many uh, non terminating groups and these groups are uh, alcohol then you have ketone amine amine and you have sulfonic acid yeah right so <clears throat> these are terminating and non terminating groups now <clears throat> here if there is a chain terminating group and if that is the only group if only one functional group in that molecule then that carbon if you see all these groups which are chain terminating group they have a carbon they have carbon acid has carbon ester has carbon acid halide has carbon nitrile has carbon amide has carbon aldehyde has carbon all of them have carbon so then yeah. that carbon gets position 1 1 right and non terminating groups mean what suppose this is a group this is the main chain and oh can be anywhere this is a main chain and nh2 can be anywhere so at nh2 chain doesn't terminate oh chain that because oh can or oh is not even part of the chain oh yeah. is oh can be attached somewhere like this yeah but if it is coh right so for example and say here you have c o oh <coughs> then yeah. this is the first carbon first carbon always this is part of the chain right that's why they are chain terminating group so here chain terminates or you can say from here chain starts so now if you see this one right here in the acid example this is the substituent yeah ethyl yeah yes so this will be 2 ethyl 1 2 3 2 ethyl it's a noic acid so here so in chain terminating group you have to see if there is a chain terminating group and if that group is the single functional group in that molecule then the carbon in that group will get the position one always otherwise you will have to make sure that you give the minimum position to that other functional group that means non terminating functional group so if you see this one this one then whether you start from this side or you start from left side it will be same left or right it will always get position 3 so there is there is no problem there but in this one you will start from the right from the right correct so that it gets position 3, 3. if you start from left it will it will get position 4 5 4 this is what you have to take care of Okay, yeah. and as I have mentioned earlier, always earlier as well, that the priority which we have to understand while deciding the chain is what functional group, multiple bond, then substituent. Correct. Okay, now let's try few more examples.
these are very straightforward simple examples you can answer them fast Let me know once you are done. Yeah, done. Okay, tell me the first one. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, one ethyl propan nitride. One? No, wait. Oh, uh, sorry, two. Two hmm. ethyl propan nitride. No, butanitride. Yes, butane nitride. No, one second. So, you know, uh, I think it should be propan nitrile because you are for nitrile you're using CN, so it should be no, no, propan no, nitrile. I told you earlier, right? If you see the above, that carbon has to get position one. Yeah. Right. So if that we, is right. If so that you're is naming first, it, do we include? Yes. If this is the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon. Then the main chain has four carbons. That's why we say chain terminating. The chain terminates at that carbon. That means it is part yeah. of. The but then we said in the previous case we said one two uh, like for the uh, one two three. You said a hexanoic acid, right? Not heptanoic mm -hmm. acid. Yeah, it is hexanoic acid. One two three four five six. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, right. Sorry. See, uh, logic is simple. It is chain terminating group. That means chain ends at that carbon. Or simply that carbon is part of the chain. Okay. Here. So that's why you will be including that. So, so it is. Say? Two ethyl butane nitride. Full butane full because there is and one butane. and one consonant, so that is there is no okay. problem in that. Butane nitride. Yes, because you will have to uh, even tell right whether there is a double bond or a single bond or yeah. there is a triple bond. So if you don't write butane, that won't be clear. Okay. Yes. Next. So next will be uh, two ethyl butanol, uh, butanol. Correct. Uh, then next will be um, pentanthione. The Same. next will be pentanthriol. Yeah. Okay. Let's see a few more uh, compounds. That is <coughs> esters. Let's see examples of uh, some special uh, functional groups. That is esters, uh, acid. Uh, highlight. Right. And amine. Amine we have already seen, but yeah, two degree and three degree. Mm -hmm. See now, 
Okay, uh, let's start with esters first. Okay. So you know how esters look like, right? There will be C double yeah. bond, O, then O, then O. O. Yeah. The smallest group will be the ethyl group. Large group will be the ethanoid group. Yes, so uh, it's important to know how these esters are formed. So just from the point acid of view, plus molecular alcohol. structure, yes, by acid, by reaction of acid and uh, alcohol. alcohol. The presence of hydrosulfuric acid, H2SO4 at 443 Kelvin. No, 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 not those acids, organic acids. R, C, double bond O, OH, when this reacts with H, O, R. So this, this is also ROH, right? We have just written it in opposite order. So one yeah. of them acid. H2O is removed. Correct. So you will remove this H2O and then yeah. this actually forms a compound which will look like this, not this. This is your ester. <coughs> now these ester can be of two types. That is uh, both the R's can be same or both the R's can be different, but that is yeah. not the criteria here. Here the criteria is that it is derivative of acid and alcohol. So the yeah. R, which is connected directly to C, double bond O, that is one R, and the R, which is directly connected to O, that is another R. So there are two yeah. alkyl groups, one connected to the carbonyl carbon and one connected to the oxygen. The one which is connected to the carbonyl carbon, that means this part actually belongs to what? Belongs to acid. And this part belongs to alcohol. So the part which belongs yeah. to acid, that is the main chain. That main is part chain. of the main chain. And the part which belongs to the alcohol, that will be counted as substitute. So okay. of this compound is, as, as you can see from this, the main chain is this. So this will give you alkane. Yeah. Right. And this is the main chain. So this is the main chain. So main thing comes in the end. Family comes in the end. Family name comes in the end. So LK no eight. This will come in the end. And this is substitute. So this will give you the alkyl. Alkyl. So the name of this compound will be alkyl alkanoid. Alkyl LK no eight. Right? That means the R which is with O, that will be prefix, that is substituent. And R which is with C, that will be the suffix or the main chain. Okay. Right? So the name is alkyl alkanoate. This is the name of the compound or the general name of the compound <coughs> or ester. So let's see a few examples. Um,
First one is uh, ethyl butyloid, correct. Second is one methyl ethyl butanoid. Second one is one. One methyl ethyl butanoid. Okay. So this is one methyl ethyl. And that's why the name is one methyl ethyl. Butanoid, correct? Because the main chain has one, two, three, and four carbon. Okay, correct. Next is one methyl ethyl, two methyl butanoid. Correct. One methyl ethyl. Uh, two methyl because this methyl is at position two. So two methyl, what did you say? Butanoid because there are four carbon in the main chain. <coughs> Correct. Okay, so that was about uh, esters. Let's move to the next example or next category that is acid and hydride. Now you must be knowing that acid and hydride is formed when there is this there are two acid molecules COO and they collectively lose a water molecule and then they will give you this R C double bond O O C double bond O and R dash. Okay, so now the two participating molecules both of them are acid. So we cannot say just like we have seen in the previous case one was acid another was alcohol so we said acid has higher priority alcohol has lower priority so the alkyl group from the alcohol is treated as substituent and the alkyl and the acid is treated as the main chain but here both of them are acid so here the naming convention is or the nomenclature has a different rule uh, this r and r dash so if R. So whichever is a longer chain will be the main chain, right? Uh, that will be uh, not not like that uh, because the chain length does not decide the chemical behavior or chemical property. Okay. It is the functional group which decides the uh, chemical behavior or chemical reaction and both of the functional groups, okay. both the participating molecules are same. So that's why we cannot say that one acid is uh, has more priority and other has less. So if R and R dash, if these two alkyl groups are same, then that acid or that molecule is a symmetrical molecule. And if R is not equal to R dash, then that is asymmetric. This okay. Is okay. <clears throat> and then when it comes to nomenclature, how to name them. So we have two different cases. Uh, think of acids, think about the acids, which are the part of that. And then uh, here we will have two different cases. That is what if they are symmetric and what if they are asymmetric. So if they are symmetric, that means both the acid molecules are same. So the acid name, the parent acid name will be what? It will be some alkaloic acid. So instead of alkanoic acid, we will write alkanoic anhydride. Okay. 
when both the r are same or when it is a symmetric molecule so it is a uh, but butane on both sides so butanoic and hydride butanoic and hydride okay right but if it is asymmetric then as i said you cannot give them any priority based on their chain length so we just write it alphabetically okay right what does that mean that means the name will be alkanoic 1 alkanoic 2 and hydride okay so you are not been taught is alkanoic and butanoic it will be butanoic ethanoic and hydride okay okay because b comes first First, you can't write it alone. So alkanoic, ethanoic, butan, uh, no, butanoic, ethanoic. So no one and two, right? Just no. It is just to represent that this is one first alkanoic and second alkanoic. Okay. Right, because there will be only two uh, acid. Yeah. Okay, so let's. They have been taught this in school. Hmm. They didn't do. They did only basic nomenclature because we have only till. We have anhydrides, right? but she has. I mean, the teacher has taught this part. Yeah, but this will be part of your. Uh, this will be in your uh, other competitive exams also. This is important. These things are asked. Sometimes they will be asked directly. so basically you should watch for this okay if you have yeah. this somewhere right so there is double o right ha huh. where oh so only one o hmm oh okay. yeah got confused sorry is there a for compound double o no right no, no. okay sorry okay so you should look for this there can be anything here there can be anything here right yeah. but if you find this that is a that is an acid and hydride so now you can name these two so if you see the first molecule both are same yeah so the name and there are three carbon so the name will be propanoic and hydride okay mm. and if you see the second one two on this one this second. side Five. and one two three four so it will be first it will be uh et ethanoic then two methyl butan no 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 one second one two three four yeah first it will be two methyl butanoic okay or ethanoic See, this entire things name is what this entire things name is two methyl ethanoic Two, uh, sorry, two methyl uh, butanoic. Butanoic. And its name is ethanoic. So now, which one will come first? You don't have to compare B and E. You have to compare M and E. Okay. Because its name starts from here. The entire substituent's name start from here. That's why I always. Uh, if you see most of the questions where i find the name right what do i do i encircle the substituent 
and write the entire name there. So that helps yeah. me. If there is any alphabetical decision I have to take, right? It helps me there. So here I want compare with B. I com I'll compare with M. M. And here, so which one will come first? Ethnoic. Yes. So the name will be Ethnoic, two methyl butanoic anhydride. Correct. Right. So that is about uh, acid and hydrides. Okay, next is amine, and I guess you already know. Yeah. Right. So in amine, uh, amine is a non terminating group. We already know that. So, yeah. and that amine, anyways, has nitrogen. Right, so that is that will anyways it won't get any number, right? And if you have uh, something like this, C H H, this is one degree. If you have C and one H is then that is two degree. And if you have C and both the H are replaced with carbon then that is three degree amines. And if it is one degree amine, we have already seen how to name one degree amine. You just, yeah. for example, if it is like this, so this is pentane two amine. Pentane three. So will it be there's no e right? No. Pentan. Because there is a consonant here and a vowel. E and e. Okay. So one degree amine is easy. We have already seen that. If there is a <coughs> two degree amine, so for example, if molecule is like this. Right. N Sometimes I N will not be even shown. I mean, this H may not be even shown. So if it is not shown, if it is not directly given, even then you should know that nitrogen has three bonds. Okay. Yeah. If only two is shown, that means there is one H there. So now this is two degree amine. Yeah. Right. And if you see, there is only one carbon on the one end and one, two, three, four on the other. And methyl butanamide. Hmm. Yeah. So here the rule is if you have a less carbon chain, then that less carbon chain will be treated as substituent. And the car, the chain with the higher number of carbon or more number of carbons that will be treated as the main chain, right? And the name will be N dash alkynamine. So it should be clear, right? This alkane yeah. more number of carbons. And this alkyl is less carbon. So in this case, what will be the name? The name will be N, which you have to write. Then methyl. you have methyl and butane. So N, uh, butane. Butane. Methyl, butane, butane, butane. Okay. Right. If it is, if, see, if methyl is not there, if this group is not there, what will be its name? Its name will be this butane one amine. Yeah. 
because a mine is not chain terminating that's why you have to give the position because a mine can be anywhere this nh can if this this is butane a mine can be here as well right so that's why position has to be specified okay right so here position is required so somewhere position is not required somewhere position is required but it's not a uh, random decision these are having proper logic behind it mm. right now that was uh, that was your uh, compound having two alkyl groups and that's why two degree there can be three degree as well if it is a three degree compound or three degree amine and comine then you will have to use the, i'll show you how to do that so now if you see all the h connected to nr one and this is methyl this one is methyl and this one is propyl right one two three here only one here two so that's why methyl ethyl and propyl now when you have to write it you have to write in whatever order uh, while writing substitutes we will take care that we will write substitutes in alphabetical order alphabetical order but the main chain will be still right the Proper main number. will be the more carbon chain so this is main. the main chain and these are your substitutes and they both are connected with and so that's why we write it as and now you have to write so when you are writing you don't have to write methyl first you have to write ethyl first so ethyl yes so and ethyl and methyl propanamide propane and as i told earlier also propan one amine yeah position is required and there are chances when you will have uh, when you will have uh, similar or same alkyl groups for example so n, yes so what if you have something like this so now if you see all the three groups are same mm. right one one will be parent ethyl ethanamide but if even if you see the two substituents if you say that this is a substituent this is a substituent and this is the main you can say that no problem in that yeah but so while you will be writing you can write the substituents together that is n comma n Di, di, and then ethanamide. Yeah. Okay. Now, if there is ethane, see here again. Why did I say ethanamide and not ethane one amine? Because in case of ethane, this is ethane. whether you have an amine group attached here or it shall be one have a amine group attached here both are same so that's why i have written ethanum okay right so if there is a repetition in the substituents you will write it like this and if there are only two groups for example what if n ethane one more ethane and h mm. then it is <coughs> n ethyl ethanamide clear 
Yeah. Okay. So that was about amines. Now, if you recall the priority list, there we have already discussed that if the, if we have more than <coughs> one functional group in a molecule, then we will have to prefer that priority list, right? And in that priority list, uh, I hope you already know that the carboxylic acid has the highest priority. Yeah. Then right. sulfonic acid. Yes. So carboxylic acid, then sulfonic acid looks like this. Then you have uh, yes. ester, that is yeah. this. Then you have uh, acid halide, which is this. Then you have amide, amide. UNH2. Then you the have nitrile. nitrile. Then you have uh, aldehyde. Aldehyde, good. Ketone. Then ketone. Then alcohol. Or NH2. And finally, Double bond. Triple bond. Yes. So these so are. So in this functions. case, double. <coughs> so double bond is more than triple bond. So while naming, should you say that um, in multiple bonds we don't need to take care of the bonds? Yeah, even here I have not written double bond and triple bond in that order. But NCRT gives that you need double bond before triple bond. That is again only while writing because double bond will have E and triple bond will have I. But then rest of them we are taking care of numbering, right? What? So how do we rest of the compounds? We are talking about numbering uh, according now according to numbers, right? How you name the carbon first? I mean, yes. number the carbon. So that, but in this case, if that doesn't happen, I mean, they are doing the same list. Right? If you see, we How have seen few examples where, suppose in this case, if you have a double bond here and a triple bond here, yeah. Then in this case both double bond, both the multiple bonds, if you start from this side <coughs> or if you start from this side, in both the cases, you will get the multiple bond at position one and four. Yeah. I had this down that worksheet. I didn't know which to write first. Yes, so that's what I am saying. <clears throat> See, now you have to decide first the numbering because both the, both the number schemes are giving you the same. We have discussed it uh, while solving the problem as well. 1, 4 and in the red scheme I also you have 1, 4. Yeah. Right, so both are same. So which one should we take? So now you have to break the tie. So in order to break the tie, then you will go for, again, the alphabetical order. In and I. So in should come first. So it is okay. the red one which will be correct and green one will be wrong. Got it. So this one should be one, two, three, four, five. Well, so in that case, this ordering remains the same, right? That means so it, is it only in the case of tiebreaker or is it even in a normal case? Normal case, we go for the lowest numbering, right? Whichever gives the lowest numbering. We don't have lower sum. I always say we have this. Not one. sum, numbering. Yes. If you have this 1, 2, 3 and 1, 4, <coughs> 1. So first one will be considered. So first one will be preferred. Sum is same. Yeah. Right. In NCRT also, it is given the same thing. They say that multiple bond, in case of multiple bond, double bond has higher preference than triple bond. But what is the reason behind that? Reason behind that is this. Because alphabetically, E comes first, Y comes next. Okay. Right. The thing is here, whatever is given here, right? The preference 
or the priority which is given here that is based on the chemical reaction that molecules show. For example, if a molecule has this as well as this. So it is found that it will show reactions of acid. Alcohol, uh, acid sir. And that's why it is treated, that's why acid is given more preference than alcohol. Okay. So this priority table which you see here, that is actually based on the yeah. chemical, their behavior, chemical behavior. Okay. Okay, so now based on this, I think we have uh, seen many cases plus polyfunctional group in this uh, priority table you already have. So based on this, I'll send you a few questions based on whatever topics we have covered, right? Okay. You go through them, try to solve that. And uh, there are few functional groups which are left, but I will first send you the questions on that. If you are okay with that, if you are able to solve those problems, good. Otherwise, we will take your doubts in the next session. Yeah. Okay. And once that is done, uh, I did I already send you the degree of unsaturation 